hey there everyone ravindra here back with another video today's video is going to be a little bit different from the earlier ones today i'm going to discuss about dotnet full stack development roadmap how should we start to learn dotnet development actually there is not any fixed order to learn you might disagree with these preferences and learning order that's totally okay these are my personal preferences based on my personal experience over the years and job opportunities in my region that is north india for example, right now there is tons of opportunities in the field of .NET Core plus Angular and also in simply ASP.NET MVC. So I am going to keep these things in my mind also. So if you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, you can also subscribe it. So let's get started without any delays. First of all, you are looking for full stack web development, which comes with front end, back end and database and front end is a part which interact with the users. So it is the vital part of the development. And when you work in a company, you actually do not need to build your UI designs. They have separate teams for that and they will do that job and you will simply get that HTML design and you have to implement it you will not worry about building the html pages or any ui part there but right now you are learning web development and you need a good interface or workable interface where you can interact with the backend and you should have a knowledge of html and any other things like css or javascript because for implementing those things, you must have a little bit idea about what you are implementing there. So according to me, first you have to learn the HTML, the good resources you will find there in internet. So let's see HTML5 tutorials and you will find the resources from anywhere in the web. And actually W3 schools is a very good resource. It gives you everything what you need for the HTML. And you can look it from here and you can find other resources in the YouTube like Precode Camp or any other any other platform which you like. So you must learn HTML first for web development. And actually you do not have to learn all of these things but you have idea about maximum of these things like what are what are the elements of HTML like div, tables, ULLIs and what is headings paragraphs so these kind of basic things you must learn and actually and this also forms what is forms and right now you do not need to worry about these things like html media what is media and video audio something like that just go for these things html tutorial and learn these things only till here okay so and the form also and do not worry about these things like graphics and media so that was all about html now you have learned html and you can move to the css and you should have little bit information about css and if you do not want to learn css that much then it is a framework for you uh, bootstrap you can also start bootstrap so here bootstrap and it is the website of bootstrap from where you can start to learn it and here you will find documentation and it is very easy to implement actually if you have little bit knowledge of html then you can easily use the bootstraps what you have to do just copy and paste and you can use their components they have built almost all the components what you have to do is just copy and paste them like if you want to use navigation of navigation bar of bootstrap then you can find it here like this nav bar and you have to copy these lines and paste it in your project and your your navigation bar is ready uh, if you want to use other things like pagination you can click here and paste those things in your project 
paste paste this line in your project and you can easily implement your website with bootstrap so if you do not want to learn css that much you can use bootstrap after learning the html but i am suggesting you at least you should have little bit knowledge of css it's good for you now you can move to the javascript part and actually you should have a little bit information about javascript i'm not asking you to learn it too much but you have a very little information about javascript and later part of the development you will always need a javascript in your project so you must learn actually yes, you should have a little bit information right now and you can master it later in your journey so now you have learned the front end now you can move to the back end part and now you can learn you can start to learn c sharp and you can find lots of online resources in c sharp and just type here c sharp tutorial you will find lots of resources here and you can learn it from my channel i have created a whole playlist of c sharp and you can access it and i have covered all the important topics of c sharp in this course so you can learn it from here and actually it's your choice wherever you find suitable you can learn from there so that's the c sharp part now you have learned the front end and c sharp now you can move to the back end technologies like dot net core and i will suggest to you to start with dot net core mvc because with it you can create the whole project with front end and back end so you will learn here c sharp and asp.net core mvc with asp.net core mvc you have to learn little bit about entity framework core and there are some good resources here on the internet you can find it and you can also find a brief course about asp.net mvc in my channel here in this playlist single video courses and there is this asp.net core mvc 7.0 in one video and you can learn asp.net core mvc briefly from here i have described the uh, little bit about asp.net core mvc features and i have created a crud application app in that application and entity framework you can learn it from here it is a very brief and informational video i will highly recommend you this for learning entity framework core so now you can move to the api part and it is the most important thing in the whole .NET development, you must learn web APIs because you will use it a lot of time in your career. You have to build a lot of APIs in your career. And actually, if you have learned the MVC pattern, you can easily build the web APIs. They have the same things. They both use the controller part. So you will easily build web APIs once you have mastered the MVC so you can learn it after the mvc or before the mvc it's totally up to you but i will suggest you learn asp.net mvc first because you can build actual project from it so now if you have learned the front end part little bit and c sharp and mvc now you can build your own projects and you must build your own projects until then you will not have that confidence in your hand if you have learned if you have built some projects in asp.net core mvc now you have much more confidence and you can learn anything from the web right now after learning the after making the some projects so i will suggest to you this playlist build project from start and here i have created two projects in asp.net core mvc and you can look into those projects those are very basic or beginner level projects you can learn from here so these two projects are built in asp.net mvc you can start with this bookstore app first and actually you can learn anything from here 
it is a little bit complicated for you right now because it have some authentication and author authorization in it but it is a very simple app the book store app it have some uh, credit operations in it and some basic things you will get there so these are the project part now you have the pretty much idea about the web development right now now i will highly suggest you to learn sql server because in your career sometimes you have to work with the database directly and you have to write some queries execute some queries and you have to write some stored procedures so you must have a basic idea about sql server and actually you will find the good resources sql server tutorials and here w3 school is a very good resource for that you can learn these things from here the basic things like this how to create database how to create tables how to select queries and these where clause and or not these things and you can learn from here and you have to learn sql uh, it is good for you so that's about the backend development so now you have learned the front end and back end so when you have good hands on these technologies now you have built some projects in it and now you have much more confidence in yourself now you think that i can learn something new and i want to learn something new and i want to upgrade my skills so after learning these things now you can learn some some front end frameworks like angular and react js and it is a very important in your career in later part of your career when you will looking when you are looking for job and you will find lot of jobs in dot net core plus some front end framework like angular or react so this combo dot net core web apis and angular or react is pretty much popular right now so after learning these things you must learn some front end framework like angular or react in the later part of your web development so i will highly recommend you to learn either one of these framework and now you have the knowledge of all of these things and you still want to learn something for uh, just for fun or just for the career upgradation now you can learn the blazor it is the similar angular but with angular you need typescript with Ang with react you need javascript to create a single page application but with blazor you need only the knowledge of c sharp and if you have the knowledge of asp.net core and c sharp you will easily learn this thing blazor and it is just a matter of time you will easily learn it actually you will learn it from a single day so do not worry about that you can learn these things in later part of your journey and the resources about angular and angular and blazor you can find the courses on angular and this blazor in my channel also so actually you will find some courses and some projects of angular and this blazor in my channel but i do not have any resources in my channel so you have to look somewhere else in the internet so i can't recommend you the react js courses because i do not have that much idea about it i can only recommend you about angular and blazor so those are my views and insights in dot net full, full stack web development so if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed this channel and please subscribe it also so that's it for now see you later